So uh, will Dali3 replace a stable diffusion? The short answer is no. Let's see a short review of Dali3 and my initial impression of this very important AI image generation update that will become available next month. One of the biggest problems in mid-journey or stable diffusion is that it does not adhere to the prompt accurately and drops many words from the description. Despite, for example, having 75 tokens al uh, allowable for stable diffusion, we don't see many of the tokens we describe in the prompt to be part of the final picture. So Dali 3 will be out uh, next month. Uh, currently, it's not available, but the preview is available at uh, their official website. Now, if we come to any of these pictures, we can see detailed descriptions. Now, what's special about uh, this, uh, the description that's provided for Dali 3 is that it adheres to the prompt. So uh, while the stable diffusion uh, mid journey tends to ignore words or the previous version of Dali, uh, it's very normal to ignore many words in the prompt. However, in the new Dali version, we can see that uh, Dali is adhering to every single detail of the prompt. For example, in this illustration, it shows how the pedestrians enjoying their nice life, for example, the moon, the description of the woman, Okay, the description of the person, uh, every detail in the uh, prompt is basically part of the uh, drawn picture and the picture is merging together perfectly. We can see that the faces here is also, uh, also looks good. So if we check uh, OpenAI, the official website or the Instagram account, we can see many illustrations and pictures created by Dali3. You can see, for example, here, the uh, level of details is amazing for this little dinosaur. Dinosaur, for example, the lighting, the leaves, the skin, the eyes, every single detail of this picture is perfect. Uh, the illustration shows extreme details. The mini map, the, mini -map, okay? uh, the cafe, the, these are the cafes, the indoor plants, these, uh, this is very amazing. The wooden beams, every single detail that's in the description is actually rendered inside this picture and it looks more like a 3D, uh, a 3D uh, drawing. So uh, we can see the tiny bottles and glasses. So this is very amazing. These pictures are really very good. Even with the small faces, the details is, are uh, of high quality. We can see this is also created by Dali3. We can see the level of details is amazing. The facial features, there are no deformations in these pictures, in these displays. So my potato king, this is the potato king. It's a very amazing picture. We can see the prompt here, tiny potato kings, not a single king. So this is a king, but these are like little kings as well. And these are the, uh, the potato kingdom. So the subjects with potatoes, with potato castles. So the very uh, details uh, in this illustration are really amazing. So we can see this picture is also created by Dali3. We can see the level of details is very high. It's very accurate. The description and uh, there are no deformation. So even the, uh, the birds, the seagulls are extre extremely accurate. It actually, it's also able to write text perfectly. Uh, it has a very amazing illustration as well. In this location, for example, we can see here. Now, if we check the official website for Dali, we can see an illustration for a storytelling where uh, we can have uh, a prompt being adjusted and creating uh, the same character or the same uh, ca uh, cartoon character which is for children's story and it's really amazing because uh, it's able uh, it's able to develop the story over uh, over different uh, prompts and create a complete story with the suggestions made by ChatGPT. i strongly suggest that uh, you watch this video on the official website Look at this example, for instance, we can see a 3D render. It actually looks like a 3D. If we check the description, the mug placed on a window, the stormy day, the storm is outside, reflected in the coffee, kind of, okay, lightning bolts, etc. So we can see the waves inside the mug. So every little detail, including the atmosphere and the dimly, the dimly lit scene, all are inside the image and the image composes together uh, quite nicely. So even all the details are inside the mic and it's uh, transparent as well. The biggest problem, so first of all, focus on safety. This, uh, so they are putting so many limitations. For example, you cannot produce adult content. You cannot produce any violence, uh, violent content or gore or etc. So uh, you, you cannot also produce any living. Uh, it says that you cannot produce living artist styles. So many styles may not be available. 
So uh, there are many limitations over uh, DALI, which makes it uh, not very suitable for, uh, for all needs. So, uh, but it looks perfect for creating content for children, for example, for underage people, or for creating uh, sci-fi, for example, that does not contain gore or bloody or etc. because it seems that's able to produce stories. So if we took, the, for example, this scene and uh, copy the same prompt into stable diffusion, and uh, try to produce the prompt, this is what we get. For example, in Magic Mix, we see that there's a king and there's a throne and etc. but there are no potatoes and uh, no kingdom, etc. So there's no respect, uh, it doesn't respect the prompt pro properly. So in uh, Rev Enemy, this is how the prompt looks like, for example. Okay, so it does not understand the, the context of the, uh, of the sentence. It just understands a couple of words and tries to compose a picture and ignores many other words as well. Now, uh, if we try the SDXL, we can see that the results are a lot better. Okay, we can see something like potatoes and kings and uh, slightly like castles all combined together. So this is a better context. So SDXL is a lot better, but uh, the daily results look actually more realistic and more accurate based on initial view. Now, this is another example in SDXL. We can see, okay, the results are acceptable as well, not as accurate or good as DALI, however. Now, if we try this prompt, for example, which includes writing and a very complicated scenario, okay, this uh, prompt is actually, okay, it's being understood by this, uh, by DALI 3, based on this illustration. It's uh, very good. Now, if we try to generate this using SDXL, we can see that it's, uh, it's really good that it's writing uh, the sentences properly. But, uh, okay, where is the therapist? So uh, this SDXL is, is dropping some part of the prompt, although SDXL is producing good results. Now, uh, this is another example. Now, this is the detailed prompt. We can see the high level of details and very accurate adherence to the prompt. Now, in SDXL, of course, SD 1.5 will not produce these kind of results at all, but SDXL is producing acceptable enough results, despite that the details of the person is not clear and the shape is completely uh, not very good, not, not so great. But the image in general is good. If we compare this scene, for example, with this prompt, okay, with a stable diffusion SDXL, we can see this is the SDXL version. It really looks uh, good, in my opinion. It's really very detailed and uh, very good as well. So SDXL is a good competitor for DALI 3 to a certain extent, but DALI 3 is a slightly more complicated and more powerful, especially in 3D. Now, based on the current image illustrations, this is uh, more accurate, more detailed, and well more structured as well, and has and contains a lot more variety. Uh, now, at this stage, I'm not quite 100% sure if uh, it will be available for ChatGPT Plus users for free. So, despite that, it's saying that it will be available for ChatGPT Plus, but it's not saying exactly uh, if it's going to be available free or not. Okay, there might be a credit system, and there might be a different purchase for the DALI E3, we will see that in the upcoming days. So, uh, will DALI 3 replace stable diffusion? Uh, the answer is no. Because it's not open source, not free, and have many limitations in creating art, training your own subjects, etc. So, stable diffusion is more likely to catch up with DALI 3 in the future and still be used by most of the community. Now, at the time being, it seems that DALI 3 is more powerful than all other AI image generators. It's more accurate and understand context of the prompt and adheres to the prompt with high level of accuracy, but it has limited use cases. It is good for commercial users who want to create software work, content, stories with high level of details, guarded by the power of ChatGPT, and who do not mind their content to go online, to be online and stored on remote servers, so it cannot be run locally. So this is one of the bad. Uh, this is one of the biggest cons of uh, Dali Three. I hope this uh, content was useful for you, and uh, have a good day.